Hello everybody, this is Tekka. In this video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going over a basic configuration tutorial for the bucket plugin PEX, or Permissions EX. So now this has been a long-awaited tutorial because it's one of the most requested tutorials and I've always said I would do it and now I've gotten the time to do it. I've spent the last hour or so going over the wiki and doing a bunch of things. I'm not going to be able to go over all of the features in this video. Some of the things that I'm going to be skipping out on is ranks and some other little features. There'll be links in the description to the wiki where you can read up and learn about every feature of this plugin. But I'm going to be giving you a basic rundown of PEX and show you how to get everything working. So jumping right into it, what we're going to do is we're going to open up our internet browser and we're going to Google Permissions EX and we're going to download the package for Permissions EX because in a later tutorial I'm going to be going over some more features and I'm going to be going over the chat manager and other things it comes with. So we're going to click on the package and we're going to download it by clicking download. That's going to start up. When that's done, we're going to open it up. And I'm going to close out the internet browser. I'm going to bring this in here. And I'm going to extract the chat manager, modify world, and permissions EX jar right to my desktop. When that's done, I'm going to open my bucket folder. I'm going to go into my plugins folder. And I'm going to put those three right in there. Once they're in there, I'm going to go to my bucket, back to my bucket directory, and I'm going to run my server. Now this is going to take just a sec to start up. What this will do is it'll create all the configuration files that we're going to be editing, and some more things. So when that's done, we can then stop our server, wait for that to stop, press any key to continue, and we can then jump into our plugins folder. So we're not going to be messing around in Chat Manager or Modify World for this tutorial. We're going to be focusing all of our time in the Permissions EX folder. Here you're going to have config and permissions under config. We're going to edit that with Notepad++. You're not going to really get that much um, options. You have a backend, and that's going to be the file. Backends, the file that you're going to want is permissions YML. And there's a super permissions thing. I'm not going to be going over that much of this. You won't really need to be changing this. Uh, there'll be a link, once again, to the wiki where you can read up on this. Okay, so this is what we're going to be spending our time in, the permissions of YML. So if I right click on that and open it, as you can see, it's very, very blank. There's your groups, there's one default group, the default is set to true, and there is uh, one permission that it has, which is the all modify world permissions. So what I've done for you guys is I've created a permissions YML file that you can download from the description. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this permissions YML from the permissions EX folder. Delete that and I'm going to drag in the one that I created for you guys that you can download. And I'm going to edit that with Notepad++ and as you can see it's much easier to manage and there's a lot more things you could do. So I'm going to make this a little bigger so you can see everything. And I'm going to jump right into it. First we have our groups and here there's Three, there's three main groups. You can customize this however you want. You can change the name of your groups and just do whatever you please with it. Now, I put the permissions in for command book just for this tutorial because they're really simple and they're easy to work with. You can obviously exchange those for essentials permissions or whatever you want. So I have three groups. I have player, player plus, which that could be a donor rank. It could be for advanced members. It could be whatever. I have a moderator, I lied, I have four groups, and I have the admin, and right here is users. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over what everything is. There's the groups and the players, I mean not players, users. Now under groups you're going to have all the groups, under your users you're going to have all the users. Now the default group, which is this one, which is player, is set to true. So this is what group people are going to automatically be in when they first join the server and people's names do not go under the users unless if they're promoted to something that is not the default or you add them in customly and give them permission. So as you can see I added myself, I gave myself the admin rank, and I gave myself a custom permission node of all of the permissions for permissions EX. And you can add people if you want to, you can take away things, and how you take away a permission, let's say I didn't want uh, myself to have the kick permission. What I would do is I would just copy that kick permission. I would 
drop that in here. I would move it over so it's lined up correctly and I would just add another minus in front of it and what that will do is it will take away the kick permission from me so I will not be able to use it. That is how you take away permissions from people. From, well, that's how you take away permissions from people if they already have the permission or, for example, um, when we jump into inheritances, the player group, well, everything, well, right here it says inheritance, player. So everything in this player group is inherited into this player plus group. So if you are a player, you'll be able to use the who command, but you will not be able to use the teleport, the home teleport command. But if you're a player plus, you'll be able to use the home commands, the clear command, and some of the band commands as well as the who rules and all the commands in here. So that's basically how inheritance works. It inheritances the permissions from the group's inheritance. So for example, I have the player plus inheriting the player, and I have the moderator inheriting the player plus. So if I was a moderator and I typed the kick command, it would work. If I was a player plus and I typed the kick command and it didn't work. But if I was a moderator and I typed in the who command, it would work because the moderator inheritance everything the player plus inheritance and the player plus inheritance everything the player inheritance. So that's basically a rundown of how inheritance work. Next there is prefixes. So this is for chat managing if I actually go over here to my chat manager and right click and open the config YML. As you can see this is currently the message format. It goes prefix player suffix and then message. So you could also add suffixes. So if, to do that I would just go like this and I would add suffix and then I would do the same format as it is for prefix but I don't have that in if you want that you can add that customly yourself so right here is the suffix right now it's player I'm gonna get into all the all of the chat things in a later tutorial subscribe if you want that tutorial or just keep an eye out for it so I'm not gonna jump into this that much but the prefix option is right there you can customize that however you please as well as adding colors so now we have permissions. I kind of already went over this. This is just everything, all of the permissions that people have to use. So right here, it has all of the modify world permissions, which I'll also be getting into in a later tutorial. And this player group can use who, message of the day, rules, time, and all of that. And let's say I downloaded a plugin. So what's a plugin off the top of my head? Uh, Fay Economy. So Fay Economy. I go here, and let's say I wanted to give them access to um, some of the Fay Economy permissions. So here are the grouped permissions. We have member, admin, and Fay for all of the permissions. So I want to give my player group all of the member permissions. So all I would do is hit enter and I would backspace and I would hit space, 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 space and paste that right in there. So now the player group has all of the Fay member permissions as well as all of these groups and then what I could do is I could give the moderator the admin permissions if I wanted to. So I would just go like that, space, space, space and drop that in there and now the moderator has the permissions to create an account, remove an account, and things like that. Now if you want to add and take away groups it's very very easy. I'm just going to close these out. Let's say you want to change a group's name. Let's say we want the player group to be called member, the player plus group to be called donor. You would just do it just like that. Now one thing that a lot of people mess up on, they change the names of the groups but they don't change the inheritance. So if the donor group is inheriting a player group and there's no player group there you're going to have a problem. So you're going to also need to change the inheritance to member and change this inheritance to donor. And now that will work out just fine for the inheritance. And you could also add groups. So let's say I wanted to add a, a group like this and I wanted to call it um, mod, actually semi-mod, semi-mod or something like that. I could do that and then I could give it custom permissions like Let's say I didn't want this group to be able to access that, and I wanted to take away the band info from donor, I could do that, and then I could give it to the semi-mod rank, I mean group. 
And now the semi-mod has access to that, and I would need to change the inheritance for this to donor, because now that will be inheriting donor. And then I'm going to need to change the inheritance for moderator to semi-mod. And you could get really in-depth with this, there's a lot more things to do, but that is the basic overview of how this works. Once again, there's a link to the wiki in the description. You could do uh, ranks, there are commands, which I will also have a tutorial on the commands you could do, how to promote people, and just a bunch of stuff. There, this is a very big and uh, complex plugin, but that is a basic overview of your permissions YML, how to get it up and running, and just everything you need to start out. So hope this tutorial has helped you in some sort of way. Uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe. There'll be more videos on this, the chat manager, and things like that coming soon. Have a great day, and goodbye.